Welcome to Master Middle School Math. This video can be used as a model for teachers to teach their own students. It can also be used by students to learn math, and it can also be used by parents as a model to help their own children. Today we will learn how to solve word problems. Word problems are the way that you can use your mathematical skills to apply them to real life situations. After all, life is a word problem. When you're all grown up and you have a boss, they're not going to come out to you and give you a worksheet with a math problem. They're going to say, move all of this product to such and such place in such and such days, and how much will that cost me, and how, what's the best way to do it? So you're going to have to figure out how to do that using your math skills. You'll have to decide what operation you're going to use and how you're going to work out that problem, what information is relevant. Many students get really scared of word problems because they just think there's too much information and they get a little mixed up. So I have an easy way to remember how to break it down and make it easy to solve. So we are going to use the acronym of a buck, B-U-C-K, to remember how to break down a word problem. And I think buck is easy to remember because after all, we all remember money. So use a buck to solve word problems. B box the question. U. Underline the information needed to solve the problem. C. Circle the vocabulary that you'll need to know in order to answer the question. And K. Knock out the unneeded information. Many people get confused because they look at information that's not relevant to the question. So the first step is to read your question. At a shop on Times Square, three I Love New York t-shirts sell every 10 minutes for $19.95 each. Every 45 minutes, one Yankees hat sells for $24.95. The shop is open from 9 a.m. until 9 p.m. every day. How many t-shirts are sold in a week? Some students might go, eek, eek, I cannot do this problem. There are too many words, too many numbers. Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, take a deep breath. Yes, you can solve this problem because you are going to use the buck system to SOS. Simplify, organize, and solve the problem. You're going to break this problem down and make it easier for you to do. Okay, so here's our problem. We're going to use the buck system. So we're going to box our question. Then we need to underline the information we need in order to answer this question. So three t-shirts are sold every 10 minutes and the store is open from 9 to 9 every day. Now we need to circle the vocabulary of the words that we need to understand in order to solve this problem, right? So minutes, we need to know what a minute is and how many there are. Every day, what does that mean when we say it's open 9 to 9 every day and a week? The information that we can knock out of there so that we don't get confused, is $19.95 each, so just knock that out of the picture. You don't need to know that because they're not asking about uh, cost, just about how many. And the Yankees hats, all the information about the Yankee hats, you can just knock out of there because they're not asking us about Yankee hats. They're just talking about t-shirts. So here's the information needed to solve our problem. There are 60 minutes in an hour, and there are 12 hours from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., so we're going to multiply 12 times 60, that's going to give us 720 total minutes per day that the shop is open. A t-shirt sells every 10 minutes, so we're going to divide our total minutes by 10, so 720 divided by 10 equals 72 per day. Are we finished? Well, no. The question said how many per week, so we need to know that there's 7 days in a week. 72 t-shirts per day times 7 days gives us 504 t-shirts. The answer to the question is the shop sells 504 t-shirts per week. You're finished. Good job. So here's another problem, and this is an example of when sometimes the question is not at the end of the problem. So you have to really pay attention of where the question is. So let's read this problem. Maria needs to know how much money to have with her when she goes to her favorite shoe store. How much money should Maria bring to buy a pair of shoes if the original price is $80 and there is a discount of 20%? This sale will last one week. Now remember our buck system. So first we're going to box the question, and the question is in the middle of the problem here. It says, how much money should Maria bring? What information do I need to know about that? So she's buying one pair of shoes, so that's important. 
the original cost is $80, I need to know that, and there's a discount of 20%. Now what vocabulary do I need to understand in order to solve this problem? Well, I need to know what original means, and I need to know what discount means, and the information I don't need, that I can just knock out of this picture so I don't get mixed up, is that it's her favorite shoe store, that doesn't matter, and that the sale will last a week. They haven't asked us how long, they've just asked us how much money should she bring to the store. Okay, here's the information we need to solve this problem. The original price is $80, the discount is 20%, and a discount means that you're going to take away from the original price. A discount means that your new price will be smaller than the original. You need to remember that because whenever you're doing a problem, if your new answer is bigger than the original, you don't have a discounted price. So we're going to solve this by saying 80 times 0.20. We're going to change our 20% into a decimal number. That gives us $16. Are we finished? Well, no. Remember, a discount is taking away from our original. So our original price is $80 minus the discount of $16. So it gives us a new price, a discounted price of $64. So our answer is that Maria needs to bring at least $64 with her to the shoe store. So let's recap of how we can solve word problems. We're going to solve word problems with the buck. Box the question. Underline the information needed. Circle the vocabulary. And knock out the information you don't need. Okay, here are some of the new academic vocabulary words that you learned during this lesson. Now remember, you're going to take these words and you're going to write the definitions in your own words and draw a picture to remind you of what the word means. Original cost, discount, and then here are some measurement amounts that you need to understand. Minutes, hours, days, and a week. Remember to write these in your own words and draw a picture as an example. I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to subscribe so you can get all of the latest updates and your comments are always welcome. Thank you for visiting.